Hey everyone, Ian from Stay Gold here. Today I wanted to do a video and share with you my uh, gear loadout for my upcoming three night trip to the high country of Yosemite. We'll be going from uh, Tuolumne Meadows to Yosemite Valley and um, really looking forward to it. Been planning it since like January. Um, and I've also been making a pretty big effort to lighten my load and downsize a lot of stuff. So um, this is kind of an update to my last gear loadout video. So I'm going to start with the pack since I have a new one um, for this trip. And now as my new go-to pack, I got the Osprey Atmos 50 AG, the anti-gravity system. Um, I was a little scared when I went from a 70 liter pack to a 50 liter, but surprisingly everything still fits and uh, yeah, so that, that helps a lot with lightening the load. Right here, this is just my sleeping bag. It's a 30, ba 30 degree synthetic bag and it's in a REI um, fleece lined stuff sack so I can reverse it at night and stuff it with clothes and stuff use as a pillow um, right here I have a new tent I got the Sierra Designs flashlight one um, I put it in a different stuff sack just because this one compresses down a little bit better makes it a little bit smaller in my pack um, and right here are the poles and the stakes to go with it right here is my Big Agnes Air Core um, sleeping pad, inflatable pad, comfortable, I like it. And then back here, um, this is just a little rain uh, rain cover for the pack. Um, Osprey, again, came with one of my other packs and it happens to fit perfectly. Um, bringing that, because even though there's no rain in the forecast, it's the High Sierras um, and that can change at any moment. So then, Back here is my bear can. It's the Bear Vault uh, BV450 mandatory in Yosemite to bring a bear can. Um, so that's that with most of my food, not all of it yet. Um, right here, I got a new cook pot. It's a Tokes Titanium. I think it's the 600 milliliter pot. I'm not sure. It also inside is my fuel. Um, all fits nice in there. Saved a few ounces from my old setup. Right here is just uh, my canister stove. A little $5 cheapie I got off of Amazon. Works great. Here is uh, Pat's Backcountry, the beverages bottle. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to bring the concentrates yet, um, but I think I'm going to use this as my water bottle instead of a Nalgene. Um, but I also have a hydration bladder, so I don't even know if I need a water bottle really, but it's a little more convenient in a camp to have a water bottle than always sipping out of the um, hydration bladder. Right here is my Tokes Titanium. It's a, just a long spoon. We're doing freezer bag cooking, so it'll be nice to just have a long spoon, get right into those bags. Um, then right here, is my DIY Reflectix um, pouch for my freezer bags. Since all of our food is gonna be cooked in a freezer bag method, have everything dehydrated, um, ready to go. So that helps with uh, keeping things warm and having it re rehydrate faster. Um, right here, that's the trowel for your morning business. Um, this is just a little carabiner with you know, little knickknacks. I got a bear bell, um, a little little pack light, um, and strobes goes in case we're doing anything at night. Um, little compass and thermometer, and a tick key. Nobody wants ticks eating at them. Right here is just a little duct tape around a old credit card cut down. You never know when you need duct tape. Right here is my electronics um, kind of bag. Got the black diamond, a little expandable light. I like that using my tent. Um, right here is just a 
little lightweight mini speaker. Normally on overnight trips, I'll take my Eaton Rugged Ruckus solar speaker, but over four days, I, I don't really want to carry the weight of that. So this only weighs a couple ounces. Nice little guy, doesn't doesn't get loud. Don't need it to, but you know, it'll be nice if we want to have some music. Um, for that music is my, you know, old classic iPod. 80 gigs has anything I'd want to hear. Right here is the Outdoor Tech Kodiak um, battery bank. This will recharge an iPhone about four times. Um, and GoPro batteries, I think five or six GoPro batteries can charge off of this. So it's really nice. Um, should should last me a bit. I'm going to be filming a lot, so I'm going to need to recharge my GoPro batteries. Um, and if this dies, then I also have the... I got the Anchor 8-watt um, solar panel charger just to hang off my pack. It's nice. I was surprised at how well it works for how much cheaper it is than, say, anything goal zero. Um, so yeah, I'll recharge during the day while I'm hiking and, um, not have to worry about not being able to film anything. Um, right here is new headlamp I got. It's, um, by Sunex. I think it's a Chinese brand. Um, cheap headlamp off of Amazon. The reason I got it is it's a USB um, rechargeable one. I'm not really a big fan of carrying extra batteries and the only thing that requires batteries is my um, lantern, the black diamond one. So anything else I can recharge off of that power bank, which is also why I have the solar panel, which is nice. Um, this one has a few different modes, has, you know, a full floodlight, um, another white one with, with the two smaller ones, and it has a red light, has a strobe. Um, yeah, so, so far for being a cheap Am uh, Amazon Chinese headlamp. So far, I like this little guy. Um, this is just a little um, selfie GoPro pole. All my filming is going to be on my GoPro, which I'm using right now to film. Um, this is also like a little water bobber. So if I decide to go swimming in a lake, which I'm definitely going to do, um, that will help. Um, this is just a little case that I'm going to attach to my hip belt. Um, that way I can easily access my GoPro and any extra batteries while I'm hiking. In here is going to be all my little accessories, extra batteries. Um, also, this one has like a head, um, head strap in case I don't want to um, use a pole to film. Um, which is nice, you know, when you're using your trekking poles and you still want to film. Um, here are my trekking poles. Um, Sierra Mountain Gear, again, cheapies from Big Five, but they have um, their locking ones instead of the twist ones, which I like. I had a pair of the twist ones and broke like first time I used it, so I got these instead. This is a lightweight tripod. Um, it's nice. It's made out of kind of like a tent stake material. It all collapses together. Um, gonna use it to try and get some you know night shots with the GoPro um, weighs 10 ounces I think so pretty stoked on this um, let's see. right here this is my um, water filter gravity setup thing a couple platypus bags um, my Sawyer mini water filter and then a, a hose to connect all of it um, I just did a video on this, which I'll link to in the description and on the video. Um, right here, Pactel map of where we're going to be going. We're essentially doing the start of the John Muir Trail in reverse. Um, but so we're going to stay on pretty much the main trail. But you know, always good to have a map of surrounding regions. Um, it's pretty muggy up there right now, and so it's uh, definitely mosquito season. So right here I got some Sawyer Jungle Juice mosquito repellent, um, a mosquito bug net, and then in this little bottle right here is just um, a little amount of camp soap. 
Um, right here, this is my toiletry bag, you know, some toilet paper, some baby wipes, sunscreen, toothpaste, toothbrush, some chapstick, and uh, Purell. Um, right here, these two things. This is my Eno double nest hammock and the Eno Atlas straps. Um, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be bringing them yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to. Um, the only reason I'm trying not, debating on not to, is because I'm not going to be hammock camping. I'm, I'm going to be sleeping in my tent, but you know, it might be nice to have just to relax since I'm not bringing like a camp chair or anything like that. Um, let's see here. This is real simple first aid kit. This is just a mosquito repellent wristband. I don't know if it actually works or not, but it's worth a shot. Um, and then, so now we're under our, my clothes. Um, these are the clothes that I'll be hiking in. This is uh, just a hippie tree hat. Um, love this company, great dudes. I highly suggest checking them out if you're obviously into anything outdoors, surfing, climbing, um, camping, anything. They make awesome stuff. Um, and they just did a collaboration series with Jansport. That's why it's a Jansport hippie tree hat. Um, great dudes, great brand. Check them out. These are just some synthetic brief boxers. Um, they're by a brand called Saks. I like them. They help with uh, no chafing, stuff like that. They're great for athletic activities. This is just a Columbia, kind of like a, a fisherman shirt, but it's vented. Um, it has an SPF rating. Um, it doesn't really hold the moisture that well, so it's nice. Um, breathes really well. These are convertible hiking pants. I think they're by like Alpine Designs or something like that. I'm not really sure, but they work. Um, Solomon hiking boots. I'm not sure the model, but they're um, waterproof and Gore-Tex lined, I think, or whatever. And then some darn tough wool socks. So that's basically what I'm going to be hiking in. And then what I'll be wearing is I have a watch. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Just a small little knife and a bandana. And then, uh, sunglasses also, but oh, there they are. So then, other than that, what I'm bringing as far as after the day is done of hiking at camp, um, I'm just bringing one extra shirt. Again, it's a hippie tree shirt. Um, their stuff is really, really soft, super comfortable, so it'll be nice um, to get into that shirt after a day of hiking. Um, pair of board shorts. Um, they're stretchy, kind, by Rip Curl. I like them. Um, so, use those for swimming and probably just lounging around camp. Um, this is Sierra Designs, just a little rain shell. Um, in case we get rained on. A pair of socks, cotton, comfortable sleeping. Um, these are a pair of like my snowboard uh, under um, thermals, whatever. I'll sleep in those. And then probably the, that cotton shirt. And then there's just a lightweight pair of sandals. They're by Vans. Um, comfy. I like them. And then that's my down jacket. It's by Marmot. I think it's called the um, Aries. Um, it packs into its own pocket and it's fleece lined. Um, could be a pillow if I wanted to, but I'll probably just stuff it into that stuff sack at night. And um, that's pretty much it, I believe. Um, I think before food and water, I'm looking at about 28 pounds. And I think that's with the Eno hammock. Um, I'll probably pack everything up right now and then post a correction on the weight, but I think I'm hovering at 28, including the bear cam, but not food weight. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll have that Yosemite video up sometime probably in a couple weeks. Well, it's 
probably going to be a ton of footage and it'll take me a while to sort through it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, tell your friends, comment. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and uh, see you out there.